Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another Transformers video. This is the first video in a series of one, two, three, four video reviews. We've got the Transformers War for Cybertron Worlds Collide Buzzworthy Bumblebee set, where we have a Nemesis Primal, Fangry, Bumblebee, and Black Arachnia. So we've got one little Bumblebee versus three other figures. Uh, including one Voyager class and two other deluxe figures versus this one little deluxe figure who I believe is just a repaint of the cliff jumper mold that we saw earlier in the War for Cybertron Siege or Earthrise. I think it was the first the first uh, wave of Earthrise we saw cliff jumper. So that's just a repaint. I guess they uh, didn't want to keep paying Volkswagen to use the Volkswagen mold, so we only got that one time. Uh, and then whatever Masterpiece series they have. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is going to be the first video of my review of this four-pack. We're going to start with the Nemesis Primal mold. This is the first time I've gotten this mold, so I do not have the Optimus Primal mold to compare it to, but it is just a repaint. Fangry is a resculpt and uh, repaint of a previous Titan's Return figure. Uh, I don't remember the name of right now. I'll probably have it by that video. Uh, I've already told you the Bumblebee. And then the Black Arachnia is an original toy color repaint of the current Black Arachnia that's on shelves. But anyway, I'm going to do a quick cut and free Nemesis Primal out of his plastic and cardboard cage. And uh, we'll be right back. And here is Nemesis Primal in his uh, robot mode. And uh, he is small. This is supposed. This was originally a Voyager class figure. Ooh, I do like the opening and closing hands. That's cool. Uh, here are his swords. But this is him next to Voyager class Earthrise Megatron. He is not much larger than most deluxe figures. Here I have deluxe class Titan's Return uh, oh, I can't remember his name right now. <laughs> I would be doing a video on him soon. <laughs> but Nemesis Primal is like the same size as that deluxe class figure. That is unless I'm completely mistaken I could have sworn that Nemesis Primal was, or uh, Nemesis um, Optimus Primal was a Voyager class figure, so that's a little disappointing. I doubt that he was deluxe class. I'm gonna have to look it up. Now I'm not sure. I'll be right back. Yeah, I just looked it up on Transformerland.com, and he is listed as being a Voyager class. So, he is a very small Voyager class. That's a little disappointing. Uh, another thing I find disappointing is this. Large poster for instructions. It's huge. <laughs> I really wish I would have been happier if they had it just reprinted the four individual instruction manuals for transforming these these figures because oh I'm gonna have to spread out this whole I'm gonna have to cover the whole table with this piece of paper to try and transform them but without further ado let's get to Nemesis Primal's uh, is articulation so let's see his swords go in his hands Boom, like so. And then you can close his fists. I do like his uh, his articulated fingers, even though it's just one finger. It's still cool. I'm definitely not complaining about that. Boom. Now I'm going to have to look at the instructions and see if he has a place to store his swords, because the... Uh, the one I have, the I've got a 10th anniversary version of Optimus Primal, and his swords just store right in here, I believe, or in his arms. I don't remember. 
But anyway, let's take these out and look at the rest of his articulation. I do love the classic black and silver Nemesis Prime with red eyes mold there. He's got his little shoulder guns that come up over his shoulder, which is cool. Uh, he's got a loose chest piece. I'm going to have to see if there's some way that's supposed to stay in place or if it just floats there really loose. Uh, he can go all the way around with his arms. He's got 360 secondary shoulder swivel or bicep swivel, I guess. He's got nice angle there. And uh, what is this? Does that flip open? What is this? Doesn't he have guns or something in there? Maybe? Come on. I know you open up. Aha. Oh, yes, he does. That's so cool. So you press this little button here, and that starts it coming up here for his wrist, his gauntlet guns or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. So, yeah, cool. Uh, his wrists also rotate 360 degrees. So, see, he does have waist swivel. He can kick that far forward. Quite a, quite a ways back. <laughs> um, can do almost completely splits. And I already did the... No, wait. He can... Oh, wow. His knees are double jointed, I guess. Yes, they are double jointed. So he can go quite a ways with his knees. He also has... Um, oh, you have to fold him back in, though. I think. Hmm. I screwed up his knee. God, get back where you're supposed to be. I think that's how it's supposed to be. And then he does have swivel here and ankle tilt. They even managed to put ankle tilt on this bad boy. That is so cool. <laughs> he does have some toe articulation on both of his monkey toes and his robot toes, which is cool. So, he is quite an articulated boy. <laughs> Very few, if any, um, head can rotate all the way around. I forgot about that. Very few of any ball joints. I don't think there are any ball joints. Maybe on this ankle there's a ball joint. I can't tell. Doesn't go very far forward and backward. But lots of potential for posability. I like this figure. This is a cool figure. I might have to hunt down Optimus Primal. This is the first Beast Wars-ish figure. I don't think there was ever an original Nemesis Primal, so I'm not sure about that. But <clears throat> I like the addition of this to my uh, Decepticon ranks. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and unfold this big poster and transform him into monkey mode. And, uh, yeah, we'll be right back after another quick cut. And here we are with uh, Nemesis Primal in monkey mode. Uh, you see, he's even smaller now in monkey mode than he was before. Uh, he does have some, still have plenty of cool articulation. Uh, I guess he's the proper size for, um, as far as scale compared to the other figures... I just really think they could have sold him, sold him as a deluxe instead of a Voyager class figure. He does have these little clips on his back, and these are also on his back in robot mode to uh, hold his swords. But otherwise, there's no other place for him to hold the swords. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. He's still got all of his articulation. Um, he does lose a little bit of articulation in the legs because... The uh, thigh part of his legs are up in his body now. But he's still got quite a bit of articulation, so he's still got a lot you could do with him. Of course, I'm going to have him displayed in robot mode like a majority of my other Transformers at the moment. I only have a couple that aren't in robot mode. But 
he's cool. I like him. I just wish there was a way that you could make him stand up just a little bit taller like an actual gorilla. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but he doesn't really want to stand up much taller than this. So now that he's in gorilla mode, he only comes up to below Megatron's waist. If you don't include this, the height of the swords here. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's a pretty cool figure. Um, I might have to hunt down Optimus Primal just so that uh, Nemesis Primal has a nemesis <laughs> but yeah that's it for this video uh tune in over the next couple of weeks for the uh other three from the worlds collide buzzworthy bumblebee box set um we'll just stick with that i don't know anyway i've got it zoomed in too close <laughs> uh tune in the next couple weeks and we will go over the other three figures from this box set uh, I really like him. I'm especially looking forward to Fangry, so I might save him for last. Um, but, yeah, anyway, till next time, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like my video and you're not already, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and it's completely free for you to do, and I believe my voice just cracked. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, if you, if you are subscribed, please leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, comment down below, feel free to say hi, anything you like. And, uh, yeah, till next time, as usual, be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands, and when you go out, please wear a mask. <laughs> Bye, everybody.